Hi, my name is Pavel Spechalski and welcome to the new perspective because you have to change stuff from time to time not to go into too much uh, boredom. So today, today probably my favorite kind of the videos because today we're gonna do some science and we're gonna do some practical science and we're gonna connect stuff to the oscilloscope and the signal generator I have over there and we're gonna see how the low pass filters are working. Not the low pass filters you know for example from the flight controllers and the topics I'm doing usually around here, but the flight, but the, but the low pass filters in general, this time very mecha not mechanical, electrical or RC low pass filter. So let's do the science. Before we begin, a few words about the experiment itself. Here my scope uh, which is right now, let's say, configured to, show, to allow us to measure the frequency uh, of the channel 1. And using this scope, I will be analyzing, well, you will be analyzing the signal generated by this uh, signal generator counter I got me from China for like almost nothing. It has two channels. On the channel 1, it's generating the sinusoid signal with the frequency of 50 kilohertz and on the channel 2 it's generating the sinusoid signal with the frequency of 50 hertz. Over here I have a small breadboard and uh, here I've built really a super simple low pass filter. It's only an RC filter which uses the resistance and the capacitance uh, to, well, to smoothen the signal to filter some frequencies from it and we will put channel 1 and channel 2 throughout this magical filter of ours to see what will be happening with the signal original on the scope. Yes, this is not a perfect filter, this is, there should be also the imped impedance, no, inductance added, but this is let's simplify it model the filter is calculated to have a cutoff frequency of around 3 kilohertz, 3 kilohertz and 100. It does not really matter. We have something way below the 3 kilohertz, something above 50, uh, 3 kilohertz, 50. So it should not really be problem, be a problem. And this is more, more than fine to really show you something about the low pass filter. So let's begin. Let's begin. First, let's connect the. This is only a resistor over here, it's only to allow me to connect the probe. So, first, let's connect the channel number two, which has a signal of 500 hertz. You see, the amplitude is. I'm not sure if you can read the letters and the numbers over here, but the amplitude right now is almost uh, 2 volts, like it should be, because it's uh, supposed to be generating 2 volts, then it's fine. And the frequency of 500 hertz, perfect. Perfect signal, no attenuation of any kind, from 2 volts to 2 volts, perfect, just like it should be. Then, let's connect the channel number 1, and the channel number 1 should look like this. Much higher frequency because it's counting 50 kilohertz like it should be counting, but still there is of course no attenuation. The value between two cursors is still around 2 volts, so this is more or less what we wanted to achieve without any filter. I just connected the output of the signal generator to the input of the oscilloscope. And if I will do something like that and connect both channels at once, we will see the main frequency on the channel 2 of 50 Hz making the, let's say, the modulation, uh, the, no, the carrier, which is the carrier, and then the, the carrier wave is made thick by the uh, channel 1 frequency of 50 kHz that makes the carrier thick. Because you see, over here it goes from 0 to 1 volt, it's so thick. If, for example, I will remove the channel 1, the line will be nice and thin and if I attach the channel with the 50 kilohertz it's thick because we have two frequencies we have 500 hertz and 50 kilohertz going once which gives more or less the signal like we are observing like this so um, this is done let's connect then ourselves to our very crude filter 
Let's begin with the frequency of 500 Hz, which is way below the cutoff frequency of the filter at around 3 kHz, and how the signal will look like. Just like it's supposed to be looking. You see? Uh, it goes almost from plus 2 volts to 0 because there is an offset uh, of 1 or not. I don't really remember. Frequency is still 500 Hz. It's nice, nice smooth line, just like we were passing the signal without any filter at all. That means that filter is more or less not doing anything in particular because the frequency of 500 Hz, hertz is way way below the cutoff frequency of 3 kilohertz. Now let's instead connect the channel with the 550 kilohertz. You see the signal was smooth was smoothed. It's not longer going from 0 volts over here to 2 volts over here, but it's more or less stationary at the 1 volt because the filter smoothed everything out. The capacitance of the of the capacitor and the resistance and the current limiter of the resistance allows this filter to smoothen the the signal just like that. 50 kilohertz has been cut off to more or less 1 volt, the, the, the let's say, the middle uh, of the of, of what we wanted, and that means the filter is working. Let me connect the 500 Hz and 50 kHz. Now, let's connect both, I mean the carrier wave, and let's connect the our noise. Oh, I have to lower the trigger. There is attenuation. There is attenuation. The combined signal, because right now what we have two, uh, two channels, two frequencies in once, but see that it's cut more or less in half. Why? Because there is a loss on the filter. Loss in the voltage on the filter. The filter is right now acting more or less like a voltage divider because we are removing stuff from, from different stuff and this, this, is, this is more or less fine. But the lines lines were, are one more time more or less smooth maybe not super smooth like we wanted them to be but they are way 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 smoother than before when both frequencies let me connect when both frequencies were present in the in the original signal the filter is working our noise frequency of 50 kilohertz, which is way above the cutoff frequency of more or less 3 kilohertz, has been attenuated and is no longer present in the signal. Uh, let me adjust the trigger and of course the frequency still says this is 500 hertz. Let me switch to the channel 1 and let's start lowering the frequency of our noise now I'm at 40 kilohertz, nothing changed. Now I'm at 30 kilohertz, nothing changed. 20 kilohertz, oh, you see? The signal started to look slightly different. If we will zoom in, 20 kilohertz is more or less getting true. Now let me run this again and bump the frequency to 50 like before. The amplitude of the noise is much, much, much lower. Now I'm lowering the frequency of the noise signal and the amplitude of noise is growing again. At 2 kHz modulated with 500 Hz, 2 kHz below the cutoff frequency, the signal looks completely distorted. This is more or less not what we wanted to have. So let's run it again, go to 4 kHz. Okay, maybe we can see it. The 4 kHz part is still somewhere over here. Let's run it again, increase the frequency again. Uh, with the better trigger and as we increase the noise frequency the signal is getting nicer and nicer and thinner because the attenuation of the of the filter is bigger and bigger the bigger the frequency is. Uh, right now I'm at 100 kilohertz of the noise frequency and the filter more or less cut everything uh, from it only the original 500 hertz filter is there. So this is more or less how filters are working. Filters are no, not automatically removing all the crap 
you want from oh i think i light in one yeah i light the attenuation of the signal uh, in the filter is because i connected the uh, two channels into one not because of the filter is working so this is my bet this is not how the <laughs> how the two frequencies should be connected because now we have like a feedback loop and uh, probably a diode also but never mind never mind the attenuation by half is made by the by the fact that i connected two channels ah uh, so my bet, my bet, my bet, my bet, but still more or less it's the same. You were able to see how with the increasing the frequency, the, the, the amplitude of the, of the noise was lower and lowered. The filters, low pass filters are now automatically removing everything. They are getting more and more effective the bigger the difference between the cutoff and the frequency it's cutting off. And of course uh, the cutoff is only when the signal is attenuated by half only by half only by half so okay that's i think all to today all for today please thumbs up subscribe if you didn't and until the next one bye bye